Queenie, don't do that. Let's not be okay. Just get out your system then. <laughs> Whoa, that's really tricky. God, how do you get your fingers to do that? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you may have missed the news that I took a delivery of a very special instrument last month. Go and check out my Handry unboxing video. This video is all about my first month with the new instrument and what I've been up to with it, learning Le De Frere by Toon Van Mierlo of Narragonia. In today's vlog, I'm sharing with you the tips and tricks that I have used throughout my learning journey and the tips and tricks that I share with my students as a Melodian teacher. So you'll get to see them in real time, in action, in all of their vulnerable glory as I make my way with this brand new instrument. If you're also learning the Melodian, then you might find it really interesting to hear how I contextualise and think about certain practice processes and hopefully you'll find that really interesting to use in your learning too. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The B music though goes. is really really hard. I know I'm mushing stuff up but oh it's so delightful to play this tune with the correct harmony it's or the, the harmony that was it was designed to go with. I've loved this tune for so long and to actually be able to hear those basses is just very very exciting for me. I'm gonna put some effort in on this and get these fingers to stretch. <laughs> I've just stopped for lunch and I've got a pizza in the oven so I've got 20 minutes to sit down and make the most of this instrument and um Make the most of every minute. That's a really good tip. You know, every minute that you have in the day is useful minutes on your instrument of choice. So I've picked up the Narragonia tune book. Uh, I'm here with tune book two. And my default Narragonia tune is always Le De Frere um, by wonderful Toon Van Mierlo, who I must say has been really so incredibly helpful, given up so much of his time to send me messages when I've been like, is this the correct thing? What's going on here? He's been super helpful. So thank you so much, Toon. You're a wonderful man and I love your music and your friendship. It's um, very special to me. The B music is the favourite bit. <laughs> rough as anything at the moment but leave it with me pizza's ready time to stop play and eat some love i'm a hot sauce and salad cream kind of girl what about you i just finished teaching for today so it's time to get some practice on <laughs> So I've been going for about 20 minutes now on Le De Frere again, and I've gone through the whole thing, focused a lot on the A music and that pattern's coming together. The B flat chord to the F bass is beautiful, but it's really tricky on my hand. My hand, my left hand isn't used to doing that. So I'm trying not to mash this G chord here, but sometimes it's getting caught. And also I've worked out the crux for me, there's always a crux, right, with every piece, is the first bar of the B music. So I'm just working over that pattern now and um, yeah, just working on it to make sure I can get it solid. The pattern on the right hand is a bit quirky at the moment, but ironing out lots and lots of repetition and you know, it starts to come through. Yeah, so this, ah. is like the moment in Le De Frere and it's just trying to get these fingers to be okay with that. It feel this spacing doesn't feel doesn't feel right to me. Like it, the ring finger's always like, is this the right button? And it's like, yes, 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 it is. So there's always that conversation going on in my brain. Anyway, that's where we're at with it so far. 
got the sheet music because you know I'm still learning and it's much easier for me to have that focus uh, it's not how I've learned the instrument in the past but it's what I'm persevering with at the moment I've picked it up after about a week off I've just been really busy with other things what I was able to do last week has suddenly stuck uh, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but definitely sticking which is great <laughs> Probably too fast. Just going to focus on the A music. That's always a big thing is if you've not quite got the A music, don't suddenly get bored and move on. Keep trying to fix those issues. That's something that I tell my students all the time, but I'm relearning it myself right now. <laughs> okay, so this is also a sticking point, so make sure that you stop at the sticking points as well. And really work them in. Practice looking away from the sheet music. And then when you feel you've got it, take one bar back or one step back in the phrase of the tune and add it up together. So when you've really rolled it round and you're ready to move back, go back to the beginning and stitch it all in together, nice and slowly. Not bad, one note wrong. Good, and then when you feel you've got it, you can expand out to the rest of the A music. That's the plan, anyway. still really hard really it's just the left hand so let's do a bit of left hand only leave it with me <laughs> okay so i've done about 15 20 minutes here and i'm going to leave it at that for today not everything's perfect, but I've got the first two bars really smooth and I'm happy with that. The last two bars, I'm going to leave, come back to them later, maybe tomorrow, sleep on things and see what happens another day. I appear to have the A music. <laughs> getting there so this little finger is really struggling not to mash still it's not as bad as it was so it is getting better um but we move with it i'm just trying to get this little finger to really get to grips with curving over it's really tricky <laughs> And then the B music, which I've not put much effort into just yet, but the A music I really wanted to nail. So leave me with the B music now. I think I've got it. She says, now I'm recording. There we go. That's the first bit anyway. It's not easy. It's um, it's harder than I predicted, which is probably why I've not picked it up as much. Um, really annoying myself with that, but I've made a note in my diary. I'm going to do half an hour every day this week. And I have I feel like it's progressing every time. So that's good. And I now should take credit for that and let that be a reminder that every time I pick it up, I'm making progress. So just keep picking it up like the obvious thing to do. But it's all good reminders. Me as a teacher, this is new. and lots of my students are always facing new things so that's a good headspace i think for a teacher to be in and it's a very vulnerable thing sharing this pro pro process with you because there is this sense that 
I should be brilliant and perfect at everything. Um, there's definitely that voice in my head that says that that should be the case. Anyway, hopefully you're enjoying this um, torture of <laughs> watching me do this to myself. In the last minute or two, the B music. Oh, can I do this now on camera? <laughs> friend while I play this morning. I don't know if she'll hang around though. Maybe I should go and have a shower. <laughs> so I still haven't had my shower, as you can see, but I did get dressed um, and I've had a full day of other things and I've come back to it now this evening to see if all of that work this morning and last night is kind of, I can feel that the neural pathways are there. Like there's definitely a familiarity now under the fingers. I just second guess a couple of options and get it wrong. <laughs> so I'm re working and working and working to iron out those creases and it's it's coming, I can feel it. I can feel that the, you know, the, the knowledge of the tune is there, which is really exciting. It's lovely. So there's a bit in my brain that's gone a bit cocky now. So uh, <laughs> that's why all these mistakes are happening. It's like, oh, you've got it. You can just like relax and enjoy it. But I can't because I don't know it well enough yet. But this little thing here on the left hand. That's definitely better. My little fingers curling over the CG on the outside. So that's good. That feels natural. I'm, I feel like I've found a position on my left hand now, which uh, is good. That, that, that's settled in, which is fab, because that makes it a lot easier. Let's do some more of it, though. I'll take that for tonight. That was the best it's been. I still a few hiccups because I'm playing games in my head, but it's almost there. Come back tomorrow. So I've picked it up for the first time. This is the next day after the last day. So I've slept on what I did previously and I've picked it up and it's feeling really good. Like I can feel my synapses firing. Like there's a definite recognition now under both hands and I can feel how both pictures fit together and kind of overlap which is brilliant like I'm always looking for that to know that I know the tune and that it's fitting in and that my brain is firing in the right way so that's amazing I'm really happy with that but I'm still psyching myself out over a few bits <laughs> tell that my ADHD brain is pinging off distracting itself and I'm struggling to bring it back on track so I'm just going to take a quick minute a quick minute to go and give it a break and then I will be back to carry on it's so close it's so close <laughs> Thank you. 
think I just went one time through with no mistakes. Ah, it's a real test of concentration. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving every time I pick it up. It's it's developed. It's changed. But the real test now is it feels like it's there under my fingers. Like I know the path, but there's a few places where my brain is like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And it get distracted. And then I make mistakes and then I laugh at them because they're silly. But it shows me that there's not a percentage of my brain that's able to think about anything else other than the task at hand. So, yeah, I'm still bedding it in. I'm still getting used to it. But it feels like it's there. I can sense that I'm able to kind of really build the picture of the tune. Um, I'm not just playing the notes. So, yeah, even though there's a lot more buttons and a lot more stretching and there's that oddness to get used to, I feel like I'm getting there pretty quickly and I'm bringing all of the the sensual stuff with me from two row playing so yeah absolutely loving it it's a real beautiful instrument and um i can't wait to keep going with it what should i do next let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you'd like to be seeing here on this handry 18 vlog which is coming out about every month giving me some time in between to work on stuff and uh, yeah really really excited Thank you so much for watching the video today. If you're new here or have not done so already, please click like and subscribe down below and check out the links in the description. Leave me a comment and I will see you next month for another Handry Update vlog. Thank you. Bye.